Hello slimy fertlers, uh, just a little voice and caption type thing here. I'm um, going to have a look at this video which came to my attention earlier on today. Um, it is Glamour UK magazine's uh, video called Why Everyone Should Be a Feminist. Uh, I apologise for the fairly poor sound quality, I'm just using uh, the microphone on my laptop because I don't have a proper microphone yet. Um, but you can donate money to me and I can buy one. Uh, details at the end of the video. Haha. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it's uh, basically them reading out uh, someone else's words. Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of the person who it is that uh, has written them. But it's excerpts basically from a TED talk they did uh, on why everyone should be a feminist. Uh, they make a lot of uh, bizarre claims and, and strange statements. Uh, so let's just have a, a look and a listen and we'll uh, take it from there. We should all be feminists. Oh really? Um, <clears throat> what sort of uh, feminists would that be? Because there's quite a few different sorts. Um, there's the uh, first wave feminists, which are irrelevant now, being that their goal was to get the vote for women. Uh, the second wave feminists, who wanted equal pay and uh, equal working conditions, stuff like that, who are also irrelevant because they've already got that. Uh, you have the third wave feminists, which are sort of like the 70s um, radical feminists who, uh, quite frankly, didn't have any clear goals and thus they kind of faded out. And then we've got the kind of modern feminists, which basically split into several different types. You've got your intersexual feminists, you've got your militant radical feminists, you've got the ones that just basically want female supremacy. So, you know, when you say um, everyone, we all should be feminists, um, you're going to have to be a little bit more specific than that, I'm afraid. Um, but, no, we should not all be feminists, because, uh, unfortunately, the modern um, iterations of feminism all seem to um, be basically um, about female supremacy. Um, especially the feminists in the West, who don't seem to realise that... Uh, you know they already have the stuff that they're asking for it's uh, it's not our fault that they don't know how to use them properly I have absolutely no idea who this young lady is um, because I have absolutely no interest whatsoever in popular culture however just looking at her she sort of reminds me of something I can't can't put my finger on it and the grand prize winner the hypno toad Ah, yeah, that's it. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. We teach girls to shrink themselves. To make themselves smaller. I know that they're supposed to be speaking metaphorically here, but, you know, um, to take it at face value, that sounds like they're saying that somehow we imbue women with superpowers. Uh, in many cases, we do. Uh, unfortunately, shrinking themselves isn't one of them. Uh, I think here what they're actually going on about is that we kind of teach women to minimalize their positions in society um, which we don't actually um, I've never seen anyone at all um, openly state that women have to stay in the background maybe during the 1950s and 60s yes not so much in the later 60s though um, so quite what they're going on about here I don't know unless it's the kind of like ban bossy kind of thinking which was just fucking ridiculous to start with um, so saying that we teach women to shrink themselves and make themselves as small as possible while being a pretty cool superpower uh, isn't actually, well, being a pretty cool superpower but, you know, uh, that is just as, as fantastical a suggestion as what they are trying to make here uh, unless I'm wrong, which I'm probably not. We say to girls, you can have ambition, but... Oh, is that Baby Spice? I think it is M Emma Bunton. I think it is anyway, I'm not quite sure. I always wonder what she was up to nowadays. But not too much. You should aim to be successful, but not too successful. No, we don't. Where, where does it say that? Where, where has anywhere ever said to women, especially in the Western world, and bearing in mind it's not the 1950s anymore, where are women told that they can be successful and have ambition, but just not too much? You know, we have equality of opportunity, or supposedly equality of opportunity here in the UK, which means that um, anyone can apply for any particular job 
or go into any particular field that they choose. Uh, whether or not they're actually good in that field is down to their personal uh, ability in that field. So um, having James Corden, the token man in this video, um, obviously needed the pay. I think, you know, James Corden and stuff say this is just rather a, bit a bizarre suggestion and it, it makes absolutely no sense. I've yet to see anywhere any evidence whatsoever presented that says that basically women can only go so far in a career and then be halted by an imaginary force which the, the, the feminists like to refer to as the patriarchy. Um, yeah, let's carry on. Otherwise, you will threaten the man. Uh, because you will threaten the man. Now, the only times I've ever heard the words the man used is usually in reference to, um, you know, like the state, the governing body, you know, all stuff like that. In which case, um, there are lots and lots of women in politics, which is the governing body in the Western world. You know, we have governments, uh, we have MPs or in America, you know, uh, you know, representatives, senators, stuff like that who are both male and female, so I'm not quite sure what they're getting there. If women go too far, then they're, then they're threatening the man. Considering Britain's now have two female prime ministers, um, which is the highest office in the land, uh, that is a load of bullshit, quite demonstrably. There are lots of female um, company owners, CEOs, all of whom are a hell of a lot richer than me, so I'm to make that assertion is quite pathetic to be honest um, and it stinks of the, the kind of bigotry of low expectations sorry Nicole but you're full of shit because I am female I am expected to aspire to marriage I am expected to make my life choices always keeping in mind that marriage is the most important now Marriage can be a source of joy and love and mutual support. But why do we teach girls to aspire to marriage? And we don't teach boys the same. Oh my fucking God. <sighs> do these people not realize that the past is the past? Yeah, it's not the past is not now, it's the past. We don't do that anymore. Nowhere. Only, well, in certain communities, for example, the uh, <coughs> Islamic community, um, yes, girls are still, you know, basically told that, you know, their their lot in life is to get married and have children. Uh, but in <laughs> in Western culture, uh, which is the one that we live in and all these nice rich people live in, there's no such limitation placed on women at all, ever, by anyone. Uh, if women want to uh, grow up, get married and have children, that's their choice. If they want to go out and work and then take time off to have children, that's their choice. If women want to go through life and not have any children or relationships or, or get married or anything whatsoever, they don't have to. And it's exactly the same for males. Males are not taught that they have to get married or anything. Um, but unfortunately for men, the stigma uh, is still attached that if you get married, then it has to be the male that is the provider for the family you know you have to provide for your your wife and if you have any children you have to provide for your children and to be in a position where you are not able to do that is considered to be uh, shameful um, women however have no such stigma placed on them once they get married they're they're seen as you know they don't have to work if they don't want to uh, they don't have to look after their children if they don't want to they can have daycare and things like that although daycare is quite expensive um, so quite where they're getting this from I don't know it's as if they've just opened a book about the 1950s and are just reciting it off page by page I can't really blame these celebrities for saying this stuff because as I said at the beginning these aren't their own words these are just excerpts from somebody's TED talk but you know come on they could have treated it with a bit of scepticism you know, but for some reason they, they, they're quite willing to appear on camera and say this bullshit and think that they're going to get away with it scot-free. Uh, sorry, but, you know, if you're willing to lower yourselves to come out with horse shit like this with a straight face, um, there's something seriously wrong with you, whether it's, uh, you know, the need for attention or the need to virtue signal, I don't know. But for fuck's sake, you know, just listen to what you're saying. We raise girls to see each other as competitors. Not for jobs or accomplishments. 
which I think can be a good thing. But for the attention of men. No, no, no. Everybody is taught that um, we have to compete. It's, that's just part of human life. You know, we all species on this planet has, has to compete against other, you know, members of its species for survival, for food, for, you know, place to live, for mates, everything. Um, the notion that women are told that they have to do everything just simply to please men is fucking ridiculous. Because they don't. If that's what was really happening, then there will be girls-only schools all over the place where all girls were, uh, you know, all females anyway, would be obliged to attend in order to learn how to please men. Uh, I mean, your statement also falls down there when, <laughs> basically, when you have to consider that, you know, not all women like men. You know, some women do like women. The, the, you know, these sort of modern feminists like to point shit like that out, you know, that... Uh, you know it's okay to be gay and yeah it is okay to be gay but why would you why would a lesbian feel the urge to please men um it doesn't make any sense it's, it's ridiculous we all have to compete with other other members of the same species for jobs because you don't there's no automatic right to have anything you have zero right to just be given anything um you know if you go to a, if you decide one day you want to be a brain surgeon you are not going to become a brain surgeon by you know working a few hours a week at McDonald's um, because you don't have the, the relevant qualifications you don't have the relevant experience so you have to compete against people that do and quite frankly if I was or um, you know if I was giving job interviews for people to be brain surgeons and somebody from McDonald's turned up and said I'd like to give that a go it didn't matter what sex, race or whatever they were, they get told to fuck off after I'd laughed at them. So to say that, you know, that we're competing, that, that women only competing with each other for the attention of men is just fucking ridiculous. You know, men have to compete with other men for the attention of women. You don't always get it. Women have to compete with other women for the attention of men. They don't always get it. You know, so I... what? No, seriously, what? We teach girls that they can't be sexual beings in the way that boys are. Um, where, do we, where do we teach them this? Again, this is another bizarre statement. Um, women, apparently, so it, women aren't allowed to be sexual in the way that boys are. This is the strange thing there, they, they use the word boys and men and whatever, I don't fucking know. But women aren't allowed to have the same sexual freedoms as men. Bollocks. Women have got far more sexual freedom than men. Um, there are a whole host of uh, contraceptive aids available to women so that they can have uh, intercourse with any partner of their choice at any time. Um, men only really have uh, condoms and, uh, you know, we have one and, uh, well, we basically, have, we basically have two choices. You can either use condoms or not have sex at all. Uh, yeah. So, you know, oh, women aren't allowed to behave in the same way as men. I don't know where you're looking. If you're, if you're looking at stuff like that, you've never been out in any town in the UK on a Friday and Saturday night where you will see women quite willingly, um, you know, exposing themselves, being drunk, getting off with random people, going home with random people. Um, so, the, to say that women don't have the freedom of sexual expression is, again, a load of horse shit. Oh, just to add as well, there is a thriving industry in the uh, creation and manufacture and sale of uh, sex toys designed specifically for use by women. As we all know, there are, there are several different sorts of dildos, of, well, diff dildos, just basically solid ones, wobbly ones, uh, ones that uh, can buzz and do things, there are various different sex toys that they can use, such as beads, you know, dolls and all sorts of stuff like that whereas and and this is the thing though there is literally very little by way of stigma attached to women using these devices or these toys whereas for men there are yes there are various uh, male sex toys uh, most of which seem to revolve around inserting items into your anus um, these are a very limited appeal they only seem to appeal to people who enjoy anal stimulation 
Um, the only real kind of sex toys that uh, there are for men to use for masturbatory purposes are things like flashlights, sex dolls and stuff like that. But if men try and use any of these items in order to gain some kind of sexual fulfilment, uh, they're seen as being perverts or dirty or sad lonely losers. Um, whereas a woman can use a fucking dildo any time she wants and she's a strong empowered woman. Yeah, that's the right double standard there, isn't it? So who's got more sexual freedom? Oh, it's women, obviously. Feminist. 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 The person who believes in the social, political and economic equality of the sexes. Ah, uh, the good old dictionary definition um, of feminism. It's what they always go to whenever their, their creden uh, feminist credentials are questioned. Um, it's just a shame, though, that um, the what they're going to say next uh, doesn't particularly fit in with that. A feminist is a man or a woman who says, yes, there is a problem with gender as it is today, and we must fix it. No, that's not what feminism is at all. Uh, feminism, as, as stated by Nicole Kidman, is uh, a feminist, or feminism is the, um, you know, the dictionary definition, I can't be bothered reciting it, we all know it by now. Um, but what they've just said is not a feminist, they're not describing a feminist, they're describing um, basically what will be called a social justice warrior. Um, because you have to admit that there is a problem, um, it's basically like a religion, you have to admit there's a problem and you have to do something to fix it, that's not um, a what to call it, that is basically a, uh, a mission statement. Um, and it all depends what what's considered a problem. Um, many of the things that modern feminists like to talk about are not actually problems. They're just minor, incon uh, minor inconveniences or personal uh, hang-ups that they think that everyone else should be responsible for taking care of. Well, no, sorry. If you've got a problem and um, it's your problem, it's your thing to sort out. It's not everybody else's place to uh, have to change themselves or change the way the world works just to accommodate you. That is an impossible feat. You cannot please 100% of the people 100% of the time. So to make a statement like that after giving the proper dictionary definition of what feminism is, is just quite frankly pathetic and hypocritical and all sorts of other words that I can't be bothered saying at the minute. So all the, get, all the videos participants, well apart from Nicole Kidman and all that, you know, uh, walk off in what they seem to be thinking is a mic drop moment. Uh, unfortunately it isn't because all they've done is repeat some bullshit sentences that somebody else has already repeated and that they copied off someone else and, you know, none of the stuff they're saying is actually original and it is uh, quite easily uh, deconstruct and dismissed with uh, not even five minutes work um, whoever you know whoever it is that believes this kind of shit is quite clearly a fantasist who has very little idea about how the real world works and seems to think that just by moaning and, and railing and making various statements uh, you know inflammatory statements that they can do anything um, the rest of the video, the video does carry on for a little bit more, but it's just basically them saying, please subscribe to, you know, Glamour UK's channel to see more videos like this. I don't particularly want to see any more videos like this. I wish that no more videos like this would ever be produced, but unfortunately there will be, so I'll probably end up having to come back and do this again at some point when some other dickhead decides to repeat the same bullshit that uh, has been dismissed various millions of times by other people, you know, some better than me, some more competent than me, and for a lot of people slightly less competent than me and less informed than me. So yeah, um, thank you for watching, um, this has just been my opinion on this piece of shit. Uh, I'll put a little caption up at the end there for you to have a look, you can follow me on Twitter, if you want to send me any questions or anything please do so via Twitter DM or, you know, tweet to me. Um, as I said, I've also got a donation link up uh, for my PayPal. I'm currently uh, looking to try and get a new webcam and hopefully a microphone but there are other, thing, other sort of life expenses I could do with some help with at the minute uh, so feel free to donate as much or as little as you'd like 
uh, to the PayPal link as done. Um, any problems or anything like that, like I say, hit, there's my Twitter, you can contact me there. Thanks a lot for watching people, hope you have a great day.